Hi folks, 20, uh, 7th of August, it's about 6.30 in the evening, Friday. Welcome. What I'm going to do is, I've got a couple of teapots actually I want to finish off. Uh, one just over there and another one, this little guy here which has been waiting for my attention patiently so this is a different different kind of shape of teapot than that guy all right so actually what I need to do with this one is put a hole in the lid and put a handle on it I got some handles over here pulled these last last evening actually and um, so they nice bit of sunshine coming in here those guys so let's have a look let's finish this teapot first um, Put a little hole in the lid. That's the lid. And we want a hole to... The reason we have a hole in the teapot lid is to let the, let the steam out. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just a trick question. No, it isn't. It's to let air in so that when you pour the tea When you pour, when you pour, or when you go to pour, the tea pours nicely because it needs to draw in air as it pours out liquid. Okay, so a hole is required. Okay. Right. Okay, let's have a look what handles we've got here. Let's see. That will be that will be about right, I think. So I'll take the lid off so it doesn't fall off. I think we're going to join. Put the handle here on that. Whoa, clumsy boy. Uh, where the change of angle is there. That's where the handle is going to bring out from. Okay, so I'm just getting right opposite there. We're going to dip the finger in the old and now scratch it with a wetted finger. Yeah, sorry, the last clip it ended without me saying goodbye. The reason was, I couldn't figure it out why, because for some reason it lets me record up to 29 minutes and 51 seconds and then it cuts out and that's what happened all right so this guy is going to come off there like that so I'm just going to prepare the the fatter end of the handle here for attachment using my knuckle as you see so that's going to give us a little bit of a bit of material there you see to be able to smooth in and join now putting a handle on a teapot is not the the easiest thing in the world because you know you gotta watch out for the spout and it's a little bit more a little bit more complicated than doing a um, just a regular mug but not really once you learn how to do a mug you'll be able to do a teapot easy okay so I've, I've with my fingers you saw there and now what we're going to do is we're going to dip the whole thing uh, in my water pot there 
wet it up. So, you know, we pull the handles to init initially, but then we have to, we have to re-pull them, don't we? Off the side of the pot, you see. Okay, let's just get that back up there so you can see what I'm doing. So the secret is always let the handle hang uh, as if the handle's just coming straight off from the side of the pot. Don't let it hang at an angle like that, you see? Keep it hanging, drooping down, straight down. Just make sure that the handle is, is dead opposite the spout. That's very important. Now with this, with this one, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put a backbone or down the s a ridge down the middle. To do that, I'm going to using my thumbnail. You see, I've done that. Okay. You see what we've done there? That is a little bit more advanced if you're not really yet mastered pulling handles. Don't even think about doing that. Okay, that will come in its in its good time. Don't be in a rush. Okay, so now I'm going to hold it by the end here, and I'm going to put the hat, the teapot back to horizontal. And this is the point where I have to now decide. Decide about the how much that handle should stick out. Okay, and now I'm just apply some pressure there. Okay, okay, come back to looking at the handle again from above from the side and also through there like that okay okay now we've got to do a like a fishtail here on the end so I'm going to wipe it to wipe off any slipperiness and I use my thumb here Push away like that. Also, push away like that. Okay. Yeah, so in the process of doing all of what I just did, you you saw um, I am kind of manhandling the teapot a little bit. Okay, lid. Now, where I where I did the whole boring. Before I put the spout on, what I should do is, and I best use, it's actually better to wait till it's a little bit more dry to do it. You can use, actually the, the, the implement I was looking for was a spoon, like a teaspoon. You put a teaspoon in there and turn it around. I, I can't find a teaspoon, but basically I just want to rub over where those holes are. I don't want to do it at this stage because it's not quite it's not dry enough and I could clog the holes up inside so wait till it's bone dry when it's bone dry put a spoon in or something and scratch over where the holes come through to break off any little bits okay don't forget to do that okay that teapot that teapot is now 
is now complete. All right, so we're going to do the other teapot now. You ask yourself a question, is it in harmony? Is the handle straight? <laughs> Does it look balanced? Does it look inviting to hold? Okay. Right, right. Going to dispatch that one. Put him on the over here. Oh, now with this one, I could do some fluting on the outside, perhaps. Um, let's have a look at this guy. So this one I was just been working on before you came along. Um, so yeah, we're going to put a hole in the lid there. Hasn't got to be a big a big hole. Now we've got I've got to cut the spout. Yeah, cut the old spout. So this this spout is ready to cut. Let's bring the camera down for a bit of detail. Let's drop this down. Get in there for some action. Right, hang on a bit. Actually. All right, and I'll we'll bring that in. Now, we cut it down on the left-hand side. Okay, so as you look at the teapot like that, sort of head on, okay, you're gonna cut it down on the left side. Okay, so put a straight edge to it, you're gonna cut it down on that side like that. That is because in the firing, it will do up. All right, and it'll come out straight. So I'm just here like this, uh, putting my finger, as I told you in the last session, put a finger on the other side there. So wet your blade and have a blade that is like this, all right? Don't try and cut a teapot spout with a knife like that, okay? Why? Because this knife blade is, is thicker than you, you might think. All right, you compare. And a thick blade like that, you see, it's got a rather sharp, a, a, quite an angle here suddenly. It doesn't cut very well. Okay, it's too, you want a spatula. Because spatula doesn't have a, a, a thick back and then go to a fine edge. It's, it's the same thickness all the way through. All right, just a quick, a little point to bear in mind there. So now when, when you cut through, put your thumb, your index finger on the other side and you cut across into your thumb like that, okay? The reason we put the thumb there is if you don't, sorry, thumb, I've got a thumb on the brain, haven't I? Finger, <laughs> you are a finger. The reason you put your finger there is so that when you cut through, this edge here doesn't break away because it will break away if you don't support it, okay folks? A good little tip to remember. All right, okay. And also the other thing is where you're cutting the spout, remember the height of the level of the T. All right, so don't cut it too low, otherwise the T will flow out of the, of the teapot. That ain't fun. So as I'm cutting it, you see I'm using a sort of a sawing action almost. And this finger now is doing its job. And there he is. Okay. Now if you've done it right, that edge, that edge there, right on that side there, should be should be nice and intact. It won't be broken away, which it, it, it is. Let's have a look at that. Again now straight on. Let's bring in the camera here a touch. Now you'll notice it's slightly cut down on the left hand side. If I put 
that there hold it across the top it should it should be slightly lo lower lower on this side okay it's only you know by a, a, a couple of degrees a small amount okay having done that I'm now going to just using this tool which is just a, reg a regular hole boring hole boring tool but it's not a tapered hole boring tool like like that one okay and I could just dip my finger in water and this edge around the outside here I'm just going to rub my finger over it like that with a little bit of water all right let's just bring that in a bit here I'll show you that So what we've done here, we've created a spout which the outside edge around here, I've, I've, you saw me smooth it with my finger, okay, so it's not too sharp and brittle. However, the inside edge here, I've used the tool, and I've, you saw me working with this tool, and I've pulled, I, and I've, as I've worked it, I, I, I pulled up some clay. You can see there's a little bit of a, a burr there, a sharp edge on the inside bit there. Okay, that's to to help the tea help the tea pour. Don't forget though. I mean, uh, these kind of teapots don't generally pour absolutely drip less. If you're wanting a pottery teapot like this to be absolutely 100% no drip, well going to be in for a shock. <laughs> All pottery teapots, they tend to dribble a little. Okay, the thing is to minimize, minimize the damage, so to speak. So this is a handle that I threw. Okay, what I'm going to do is, I hope I've done it the right size. It's, I'm going to, I'm just going to prepare it by cutting away here a bit. to just lighten it a bit. So the edge here is kind of not too thick and clumpy. Okay, I'm gonna dip that in my water pot. So the idea of these, these, this is going to go here like this. So this should be a right angle here, okay? You're not off here somewhere or over here. You want to put them at right angles. Also, another consideration is you don't want to put him too low like that. You want to have him a little bit more user-friendly, a little bit raised up like that, you see. Okay. Okay, so... Hopefully, I'm gonna yeah, thinking that is about right. Okay, push, and what we're gonna do is just leave a little bit of a mark there. So what I'm gonna do is just score around that wet mark that I just left. Okay, scratch it. You can you can see, can't you, that doing making teapots is is quite a lot of work, isn't it? It's quite tedious, lots of 
things to consider. Okay, now I've got a bit of glue, pottery glue, it's just slurry. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm just How's it looking? Are we in the picture? Okay, looking good so far. Where's my cup of tea? I had a cup of tea a minute ago. What did I do with it? Okay, we're going to take this and we're just going to whack it on there. Apply some pressure, not too much. And then with my finger. Go around here. I'll just take the lid off a second. Whoa. I'm looking at that handle, I'm thinking, that's it's maybe a little big, I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, I, I think if I was going to do this again, I would make that handle maybe a little smaller than that. I think I may, I may, it's not, it's not like vastly too big. It's just a little bit on the generous side, perhaps. These kind of handles are great to hold on to. To, of course, it will shrink. Looks like the battleship Bismarck, isn't it? Yeah, I would say that is. You've got to bear in mind, you see, look, narrow foot, and you've got all this weight off to the side. He's okay, he's empty, and he still balances. So, with T in it, he's, he's going to be. But that's just something to bear in mind. Yeah, I think I, I think I've made him a little bit too fat. Plus, he's perhaps just 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 generally a little bit too big. Um, you know, bit of a crit criticism there, but you know, well, we have to be critical, don't we? I think maybe I did throw that one a little bit on the big side. Never mind. Next time, the next one, the next one. I've got a feeling, you see there's like a couple of lines there. I'm going to put a couple of lines here as well. Just because. Just because I can. All right, we better draw this clip to a close because... Whoa. I don't want it to. So the way I'm going to do that, I'm just simply going to... it like that. I'm just going to use my So we've got a couple of little lines there. And they serve two purposes. One is these two lines that I've put here 
relate to the two lines there but also this is a cap lid and a cap lid teapot for lifting on and off the lid it's giving my fingers a, a feeling of grippiness you see all right all that remains to be done with these is to have some a seal and put them down here on the whiteboard. Thanks for joining us, folks. There's two two different kinds of teapots there. Let's put them over here on the wheel. There, there they are, those are the two teapots. So, have a go at doing a teapot. Uh, all, the, all the different considerations. It is a case of the components being in harmony and balancing. Okay, this guy is a little bit, a little bit bigger than he should be, in my opinion. This one is better balanced. It's a nice little teapot, actually. Quite nice. This is just a different style of teapot. This is a side-handled, sort of Japanese-style teapot. Have a go at doing, doing a teapot. And send me a photograph of your teapot. Okay. Uh, yeah, while we're here on this wheel, this wheel is for sale. If anybody's interested, give me a shout. Brand new, never had clay on it. Never been lubricated even. So, it's another day. Um, yeah. Zoom clay. Join us for Zoom clay. <laughs> You're gonna laugh now. <laughs> Welcome to Zoom Clay. <laughs> yeah, and um, we do have workshop. We I don't have a workshop this month actually, but September and October I do have a couple of workshops. If you want to come here and be taught by me, that would be great. Well, I've got something to show you. Somebody asked me to make a, a butter dish with a lid, a lidded butter. So maybe that's something I could show you in the next video. I've got actually one ready to trim. Um, but this is, a, 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 again, a different kind of lid with a rolled rim with a couple of lugs. But you could imagine that, couldn't you? Like, a, imagine this thing, this this butter, lidded butter being this big. Then that would be a casserole, wouldn't it? It would really be a casserole. So, yeah. It's quite nice, isn't it? I, I quite like that. So that's for, that's for Megan downtown here in Milheim. She wanted that. That will be raw fired. Okay, folks. I think that's about it. Uh, yeah, I am actually, despite what I say, I always say this, don't I? This is good. I'm not making any more wheels. This will be the end of it. And then I turn around and say, well, <laughs> I suddenly get a flurry of people interested in a wheel. And then I um, change my mind, don't I? Well, that's okay. If, if people are prepared to put down a down, a, 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 a down payment, that's fine. We can go ahead and get them made. But I can't get them made without a down payment. Too risky in this day and age. All right, thanks.